Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on, guys? Well, I tell you, man, some really, really, really good news to report. But at the same time, there's a little bit of bad news as well. Let me just start with the good news. So the good news is right now the IBF has ordered Arthur Betterbiev versus Sullivan Barrera to fight for the IBF number one mandatory position. That's the good news. Now, the first bid is supposed to be October 5th, I believe. That's the good news. Now, the bad news is Team Better Biev, they don't seem too excited about this news because Better Biev's promoter, and I quote, this is what he said. He said, it's somewhat deceiving that we have to go to purse bid. And then he basically talked about how Barrera, he can't enter Canada. And he said, so if we win the purse bid, no matter what happens, we're still going to fight in Canada, a place that they know that Barrera can't fight. This doesn't make any sense to me. First of all, Better Biev, you know, he's um, signed with Al Heyman. Better Biev, he's trying to become a bigger star. So, of course, we all know that all of these fighters from different countries, eventually they come over here to the United States so they can make a name for themselves, right? We've seen this with Golovkin, with Kovalev, Lomachenko, and everyone else. So the fact that Better Biev is signed with an American advisor slash kind of promoter, which I know he's not technically a promoter, but you guys know what I'm saying. So the excuse of not wanting to fight Sullivan Barrera because Barrera can't fight in Canada is not adding up because Better Biev, he just fought in the United States three fights ago against Alexander Johnson. So we already know that he's already fought in the States before. It doesn't really make any sense. And that shouldn't be a legitimate excuse to hold up negotiations when it comes to a purse bid. If it's a if this is what the IBF is demanding, then they need to make this fight come to fruition no matter how they have to do it. On top of that, if this fight goes to a purse bid, Arthur Better Biev is going to get 75% of the split because he's ranked higher than Sullivan Barrera. So I'm not understanding why they would even think about turning this fight down. Now, for those of you guys who don't know, this is not the first time that Barrera and Better Biev were in talks. Uh, Sullivan Barrera, he's actually called out Better Biev a while ago. He's been trying to get the Better Biev fight for some time. And that was always what held the situation up is the fact that for whatever reason, Barrera, he can't fight in Canada. Something else that needs to be noted is not only did Team Better Biev turn down a Barrera fight, but they also turned down a Sergey Kovalev fight as well. When Sergey Kovalev's people pursued a Better Biev fight, uh, Better Biev's people, they said that they would prefer to fight a mandatory for the title before they fight for the title. And I shouldn't say fight a mandatory, but they basically wanted to fight other contenders before they fight for a title. So who knows, man? All I know is this is a terrific fight. It's a 50-50 fight right now. Both fighters have momentum. Better Biev is still undefeated. Sullivan Barrera just beat an undefeated fighter in uh, Shabransky. So this will be a hell of a fight. Hopefully they find a way to work around this Canada situation and they bring the fight to the United States. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one. This is Bobby and you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation.